Apple. Apple? Did you hear this week they released... I don't even know if I want to mention this. <laughs> they, <laughs> they released a pregnant person emoji. Oh, God have mercy. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yeah, so a man. Men can't be pregnant, Apple. But yeah, the pregnant emoji was a dude... I mean, I thought he was just like me, like just a bit fat. But no, no, I don't think that was the point. But the question I have to ask is, is that misinformation? Yes, of course it is. It is? Yes. Why? Like why? It's misinformation because men can't become pregnant. If you want to say that's misinformation. Yeah, I, I, I'm not saying it should be banned. I'm just saying it's, it's, it's as fake as the unicorn emoji. Yeah. So, so how do you feel about emojis in general? Like just, I, I don't like them. I think that emojis are sort of like, uh, well, they make us poorer writers. I mean, if you write well, you give the impression you wish to give through the text that you you put out. But text is meant for quick things, so it's 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 kind of re reverting from the intellect to the feeling, like a nice little smiley face at the end of my my thing you know mm. now i i don't agree okay i think matt walsh was being a little tongue-in-cheek when he did this so i think he was there was a obviously there was some sense in which he was being serious and, and I'm, i don't agree with this but i did think it was funny mm. this is a tweet you know who matt walsh is oh yeah he said every and now try to imagine this in a gravelly deep voice <laughs> every day i see more grown adult men using emojis there is no excuse for this emojis are for children and women do you think your great grandfather would have been caught dead using emojis if the internet <laughs> existed back then have some self respect for god's sake I love I, how I shy disagree. Matt is. I, don't you? I like how you quoted him to say what you really believe, but you didn't have but to. I don't, yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I, I disagree with that. Like, if he's actually being serious, I yeah. disagree with that. I think it's okay to send an emoji, but like, th there's a sense in which it kind of dumbs us down even further. Like, smiley face instead of maybe expressing in text. So, so if you had carte blanche authority, and actually ask the audience this too, would you do emojis on? Oh, I didn't realize that this is what you were getting to. Oh no, no I mean, I'm curious. It's, 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 it's this conundrum, like you know. So just with Wise Phone, we were talking to a guy that created Apple Mouse. You don't have yes. it on there now, do you? No. no. We we were talking to the guy that created Apple Mouse, and we said, "Hey, should we release this blank new? Uh, I'm not going to tell you feature <laughs> on Wise Phone." And he goes, "You know, it is very hard to make Wise Phone. It's very easy to lose it." philosophically and it's impossible to get back and there's kind of this one-way gate of if we, when we release something it sets a new expectation and it starts to change the world and it starts building things um and we can't take it back and so emojis is one of those that like i'm still on the fence on it would yeah. love i'm chew on this a little bit with your audience whatever like yeah, well, awesome. should wise yeah. phone have emojis it's a really interesting question. What are people saying in the chat? Anything? <laughs> I'm just curious. No opinions on emojis yet. No opinions on emojis okay. yet. We will it's get a them. Delayed, so we'll see. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a good question. I mean, part of the problem, say, with social media is that when you're interacting in the world of social media, you're not in the headspace to assess and uh, weigh sophisticated opinions and arguments mm -hmm. that's just that's not what you're there for it's it's not conducive to that deep thinking which is why there are just so many people dunking on each other like you quote tweet somebody in order to dunk on their stupid thing that they just said there's no one texting back saying who's successful on twitter saying could you explain what you meant by this term i wasn't sure mm -hmm. perhaps we where we're maybe we're equivocating or maybe there's a different concept you were trying to convey no one does that because you're not in the headspace for it uh, so likewise, I think text messages are meant to be a quick, uh, com com facilitate quick communication, which is why emojis are helpful. Mm -hmm. So I'm not opposed to them. Um, I'm actually fairly curmudgeon yeah. on emojis. Yeah. I mean, Tell I've used why. them, you know, but because I think that they just speak to the longing for in-person interaction. You know, like I think everybody has that one person in their life that just has an incredible laugh that just inspires the entire room to laugh. Mm -hmm. uh, I do and, mm -hmm. and hang out with this guy every every Tuesday night. And when he sends me a laughing emoji of something, it just it makes me long to be in the room because I know what his laugh is like and to feel the infection of that. And it's a way instead of just going like, ha ha, or that was funny, mm. that you realize that there's just an inadequacy in that statement, right? Like it just doesn't do justice to the response that the other individual yeah. wants to give to you. And so you give this fake representation of yourself mm -hmm. to communicate something that I would much rather see in person. Uh, on YouTube, you can ban particular words. 
uh, people who have YouTube accounts know this, right? Like if someone uses mm. the F-bomb, their comment will not come through. Mm. It's actually a fun day when you sit down and write all of the most disgusting <laughs> words you can possibly think of yes. in a row. Yeah. But I've been tempted to block anybody who says LMAO or LOL because it's a lie. Your ass is still there. And you didn't just laugh out loud. But then it's, you're going to bring all the people who have fear of missing out out of the woodwork. FOMO, you know, FOMO. Yes, and, oh, I got to get rid of that, those people as well. <laughs> but the LOL bugs me because it's a way of people like passive aggressively. Sh like it's a spite laugh. That's what LOL has become mm. in com sections is LOL. What an idiot. <laughs> but the guy didn't go. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start blocking those people. Um, okay, but here's the thing, and there's such a slippery slope. Yeah. Suppose you allow emojis, why not GIFs? What's the difference? Yeah, you decide. I, I mean, yeah, that, 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 again, it's a continuum. Every decision we have, there is a literal continuum, and it is just, I mean, it's a seamless line from one thing to the next. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could take this to the camera, right? Like, so many people take a picture, and or pictures, and then they sit there and they look at the pictures, right? Which is kind of sucking you into the phone, and you're taking pictures of a precious moment, but now you're not in that moment anymore. <sighs> And so we're we're constantly asking questions around what is that right line? I mean, we created this thing. It's on the phone right now, but I don't know if many people use it called instant camera where you can look at only one picture ever. Like your photo roll is only one photo. The rest of it syncs to the portal. So okay. you take a so picture. So you still have the photos, just not you on You still have the photo. You the can phone. review it to see if anyone was closing their eyes and that's it. And then mm. you're in the moment. I mean, but that's kind of that nuance. Like we're trying to get to that edge. So, I mean, John was talking about emoji. I mean, just the sky's the limit as far as what we can do. He's talking about emojis and faces are like artificial. What if we do non-face emojis? You know, like only thumbs up, yeah, sort of stuff. horses or you know, like I don't know. It's just it would just there's thinking to be had. Yeah, around this but I stuff. like your point about once you go there. I mean, it's not true that you can't go back, but it would be very kind of an abrasive oh, move. It just takes it? people off. It's hard yeah, to, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you, yeah. If you add email and to take it away, people, oh man, yeah, yeah. yeah. I people. bought this phone yeah. and you owe me my money back because yeah. I was under the Thousands impression. Of people, totally. yep. mm. We have some opinions from uh, chat. Oh, opinions. Uh, so one of them is smiley face, rolling, laughing face, <laughs> blushing face, hands out, star eyes, hard eyes, smiley face. <laughs> nice. So uh, well articulated. There we go. <laughs> that was very well put. No two emojis, and then later on, uh, she follows up and says. Think about what you want to say and say it, um, mm. which I don't know. I think I'd object to. I think that, well, I'll read this other comment from uh, Clint Collins who says, I think emojis serve a purpose because written medium like text lacks tone of voice and facial expression. So emojis can help supplemental meaning. Mm. Um, and there's a certain irony to it. This is a different one from Aaron Bagel. There's a certain irony to emojis being insufficient carriers of emotion. So the designs get more complicated which huh. results in things mm -hmm. being misinterpreted. So Eggplants. Like seeing different emojis across different platforms look different and you can kind of yeah. mean different things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you know, Clint, who you're going to send two phones to? And I'm yeah. like, you have my number, Clint. He, he wrote back, went, correct, I had your old number. Well, <laughs> fair enough. Yes, um, how do you feel, Clint? <laughs> right to my yeah, how do you feel right now, Clint? Shut up, you're getting two phones. Uh, write to my assistant, Clint, or, or, or message me over here or, or, you know, however, and we'll get them to you. Uh, Maggie says, I would want emojis for inside jokes with friends. Yeah, I, I get it. It's fun, but, you know. And then she says, mm -hmm. I say LOL after messages, I am insecure in like i like to undermine myself lol tear crying laughing emoji my friends use it as this is not serious yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah well text is tone deaf yes which is one of my arguments against sola scriptura incidentally since i'm sitting across mm. from two protestants but uh, yeah because it's like you can be like uh how are you doing today and it can be like how are you doing today or how are you doing today how, it's like i don't know what you mean which word do you emphasize because <laughs> yeah. it changes everything yes what uh, the uh, different emphasis emphasis yes. yeah hey thanks so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video